Hi, I am here to show you how to demonstrate how to tie dye. So first step is to gather your supplies. If you're going to have protective gloves. rubber bands to tie up your item that you're tie-dyeing. The tie-dye kit that I got comes with three different colors. And we are going to fill those up with some water. And this is not required, but I just brought a funnel to make pouring the water into the bottles easier. So, first step is we're going to protect ourselves and put on the gloves. Next step, we're going to put the water into the bottles, and we're going to fill it up to the line here. Kind of hard to say. Funnel in here. And the water can be hot or cold. I'm going to shake it up. Next color. Make sure that's all dissolved. A little leakage here. That's why we got the gloves. And last color. Now a little shake. Right. Now our next step is to tie up tie dye item, which is a white t-shirt for me. And there is no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just going to do the crumple method. Try to pull up real good here. Yeah. So yeah, just crumple it up and just put in rubber bands all over this bad boy. And again, no right or wrong way to do this. Rubber bands help make the picture come out. And the tie-dyed item. This is great for anxiety, relaxing. It's good stimulation for your mental health. Promotes hand-eye coordination. Alright, so be satisfied with that crumple list. So now I'm going to take each color and just put it on different spots on the shirt. At the top. There we go. Right. So start a little spot here. Here you want to saturate whatever part you're choosing. I have some 
paper down to protect my surface. So see, pretty saturated there. And if you get on all the nooks and crannies. Switch to another color. Some of the blue. Really get it in there and saturate the whole thing here. I wish this came with a smock. You really just want to douse it, get it all in there real good. No white spots left behind here. Okay. I'm going to go over to the purple. Purple time. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. I'll go back to the pink a little bit more on the end there. I'm just going to go back around, get these couple of spots here that I missed. Then getting the whole thing saturated. Alright, now we let this sit for six to eight hours and then I'll show you how to